What's up, world? What's going on with you? Everybody having a great day today? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, hey, um, this particular video, I titled it, Have Y'all Heard This Story Before? Have Y'all Heard This Story Before? And um, I'm going to tell the story on this particular video. I've heard it before. And um, when I heard it, somebody told me this story. I was waiting for Christ. To do something in my life. And the person and the people that told me this story, you know, um, kept telling me this story to say that, well, you know, God, all, God has given you help, but, you know, you want to continue to wait on God, on Christ. Okay? Well, here's a story, y'all. Here's a story. There was a guy on the roof, right? And there was a flood. Okay? And he asked God, God, can you please get me out of this flood? Can you get me out of this situation? You know, that type of thing. Okay. So God sent a boat. All right. God sent the boat. And the people on the boat said, hey, we want to help you. Come on over on the boat. And the guy on the roof said, no, I'm waiting on God. Okay. Now, the helicopter comes and says, come on. We want to help you. Come on, on come on, on. Uh, we're going to throw down a rope to you, and you, you can cut up the rope and, and, and come on up to the helicopter. The guy was like, no, I'm waiting on God. Well, the, this flood got worse, and the guy ended up drowning. Okay, this is the story I was told. The guy ended up drowning, all right, and he died. Stood before God, and then the guy was like, God, why didn't you help me? He said, well, this is talking about God now. He said, well, I sent you a boat and you ignored it. I sent you a helicopter and you ignored it. That's why you died. I sent those things to you and you ignored it. And so you died. All right. Now, the reason why I was told that story because I was waiting on God to do something for me. Okay, now you can't really say that guy on the roof was a Christian. All right, a lot of you are using this story to say that, you know, God's sending you things, but you're ignoring it. Folks, new creatures not ignoring anything. Okay, I'm not ignoring anything. That guy that was on the roof that died, okay, was not a Christian. Because I'm going to tell you something. If that guy was really a Christian, all right. The Holy Spirit, before this, this before the, before he would die, okay, before he would die, God would surely speak to that guy. See, that's what you don't understand. God speaks to people, okay. He speaks to us individuals, all right. I was in situations where the flood got to my neck, okay, and then the Lord gave me some spe uh, specific instructions to do A, B, and C, and then I was out of it in a jiffy. You know, in a hurry. You get what I'm saying? Now, this particular guy, okay, wasn't a Christian. Because if he was, okay, if he was a Christian, he wouldn't have died. He wouldn't have died. Real talk. He wouldn't have died. Okay? Now, the, the story is saying that God sent them a boat and God sent them a, a helicopter. I'm going to tell you, nine, ten times out of ten, if the dude was a Christian... He would have been out of there on a helicopter. Okay? He would have been out of there on a helicopter. Now, that guy wasn't a Christian. He was seeking signs. Okay? He was, he was seeking a sign. What, what, what kind of sign do you need to tell you, you know what I'm saying, that God, you know, is helping you? Okay? Me, personally, you know, the Holy Spirit. That's, that, that's my, that's, that's what I need to tell me, you know what I mean, uh, what I need to do. To get a, to uh, uh, for A, B, and C to happen, to occur, to get me out of a flood. You get what I'm saying? And you guys, a lot of people are using that story to frustrate a lot of us who are trusting in Christ and believe in Christ for things. You get what I'm saying? And Christ doesn't work like like you all think He works. You get what I'm saying? I'm I am controlled 
and uh, by his voice, okay, by his spirit, his voice, you know, you understand what I'm saying? And no way in the world that guy on that roof is, could have, he, no way he could have been a Christian because he wouldn't have died. He wouldn't have died. He wouldn't have died. And then y'all, and then the story really says that, saying that, you know, God said, well, I sent you A, B, and C. I sent you a boat. I sent you a helicopter. You never listen. You, you, you ignored it. Okay, so the next thing, if if God, you know, God said he sent the helicopter to him, right? Then behind that helicopter, a voice should have spoke to the guy. Okay, a Holy, the Holy Spirit. The guy was a Christian, like he's like everybody is is telling the story that he's a Christian. You know, he's, he's believing God, and he 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 believes God is going to help him. You get what I'm saying? Then, obviously. A voice, the Holy Spirit should have spoke to that guy and said, okay, go with the helicopter. Boom. That's God right there. That's the move of God right there. That's how Christ works. Okay? The Holy Spirit. Now, um, that's just how it is. Okay? Now, I've heard this story many times. You know what I mean? And I kept, I, I, it's, it was no need in me, you know, talking against the story. Because that person may not understand how Christ work, works and operates. You get what I'm saying? May not operate. You know, it, it, he moves by his voice, his spirit. Okay? Like I said, there's many, been many a times, okay, where I've been in floods. Okay? And people are telling me, you need to do A, B, and C. You need to do this. Or maybe God is telling you to do this. Or maybe God has sent you this. And no, I wait. I wait. That's what I do. You know, when I first got when I got my first job, that's my first episode back in 2000. You get what I'm saying? And what happened was, you know, uh, my mom, you know, my parents was, you know, uh, helping me to get this job, okay? And I was told by my pastor, you need to wait and make sure that the Spirit of God wants you there. Because if not, and you go there, then it's a possibility that God can take his hand off of you, and then now you're stuck. I didn't want to be in that predicament. I didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be in that predicament. So to get a, uh, to get a government job, folks, I want to make sure that the Spirit of God wants me there, okay? And I was told several times, you know, you should do this job, you know, uh, this job is, the, is God, and, you know, maybe it's the devil telling you not to do it. I didn't say anything about the devil. I didn't say anything about that at all. I just said, I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting on Christ for Him to give me the confirmation to get this job. You get what I'm saying? And then at the last minute, that's when the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, you're supposed to be there. Go with the job. And then that gave me confirmation right there, you know, uh, that I'm supposed to be there. You see, you got to move when the Spirit of Christ tells you, man. You can't you can't move, you know, just because the story is, is, is telling you that, you know, a man on the roof, you know, he's on flood and God said this and then he died. And then uh, I sent you a boat. I sent you a helicopter and all this stuff. And, and but you ignored it. No, a voice should have came behind that helicopter before he died. A voice of God should have came behind that helicopter and said, take the helicopter so you can get out. And then that's how to, that's, that's a real Christian. That's a real Christian right there. Okay. A person who's just seeking signs, you know, doesn't really know, know Christ yet. Doesn't really know, really know Christ yet, you know, may not hear that voice. Okay. But you will get out of the situation, all right? You will get out of the situation, all right? All right, y'all, I just want to point that out, you know what I'm saying, and uh, make that clear because, you know, a lot of people are using that story to put us Christians, you know, in a frustrating uh, mind state, you know what I'm saying? I'm not frustrated, and I don't want y'all to get frustrated either, you know what I mean? That, that guy wasn't a Christian. He wasn't a Christian. They use the story, and then they use it and, and put in, you know, that God did this, and, and you know, uh, you know they, they, they using it. To, to, to say that, you know, you know, we have to move based upon what we see. No, we don't move based upon what we see. We based upon, you know, the word of Christ. 
All right. Be patient. Be patient. Have it, uh, cast not away for there for your confidence. So you should you should have a great reward. All right. Hebrews chapter ten verse thirty five. All right, folks. All right, y'all. Hey, I'm the creature. I see you all in the next video. All right. See ya. When I see you. Later.